assalamu alaikum class 3 how are you all i hope you all are fine and staying safe at home so my name is mavra i'm your teacher and i will teach you science today in class 3 we are having the chapter what are the life processes in plant and it is the main topic of chapter number one so as you can see what we need to grow we need to eat we need to drink water we have to put more nutrition in our uh, food by taking it so here are the important information on these pages from uh, page number 11 till 17 we will discuss today so here are few topics about uh, human beings and the life processes of plants what are the processes of plants in the life how they can grow how they can increase their weight how they can move or not so so we have to discuss about these things today first of all now you have learned about the life processes in human and other animal do you think plants undergo the same life processes let's find out so i water my plants so that they will grow tall and strong Similarly, the boy is saying in this picture, my mother tells me to eat my food so that I will grow. Do plants need food and water to grow? Yes, plants need food and water to grow too. So, if you will not give the water and you will not give the food, how they can make food by themselves? because they are taking the sunlight from the sun they are taking the uh, water from us uh, as we are uh, planting the plants on daily basis from these way they can grow but what is the differentiate between human and plants they can not move they can grow they can getting getting higher they can increase their weight but they cannot move like the humans can move here and there so on page number 12 on page number 12 as you can see here let me see you on page number 12 12 we are having the experiment time what we have to do we have to take material first of all two identical pots of green plants measuring cup and what we have to do there are the instructions about it instruction number one label the plants a and b place the pots in a sunny place then what we have to do step two water plant up with three 30 centimeter cubic of water every day for a week do not water plant b what you have to do you have to water the plant a but do not water the plant b step three observe the plants after one week after one week you can uh, get the result what happened to the both plants so here are the columns on page number 13 what happened to the plants record your observation below they have given you the column of observation of plant a and b you have to write down the observation here it's your home task as you can do it at your home after that we will discuss about growth so when plants are able to make food how they can make the food they can make the food by taking the water by absorbing the water from the soil by taking the sunlight from the sun as i have told you before and one more thing on page number 11 plants use sunlight to make food as i've told you before they contain a green pigment called chlorophyll what is the chlorophyll Chlorophyll, chlorophyll is the green pigment okay so its color is green chlorophyll traps energy from sunlight the energy is then used to combine water and carbon dioxide to form sugar food chlorophyll also gives leave their green color as well so it is the basic reason of the uh, of making the food in plants so growth as we have discussed about the uh, food how they can make now we will discuss about the plants movement and sensitivity do you think plants can move hmm? 
let's discuss about it well although plants cannot move from place to place like animals they do move in their ways they are having their own ways to move plants are sensitive to their surroundings they respond to changes in their surroundings as you can see here the leaves of plants grow towards light when they get light they will grow towards light that is why trees grow upwards roots as you are uh, observed in the previous chapter in the previous pages roots grow move towards water the roots of this tree de grow deep into the soil to find water in the ground so roots grow move towards water means they will go downwards as plant is growing and the tree is growing upward where they can get the light properly so here is a more interesting information on page number 15 for you some plants are sensitive to touch here are the pictures of in of that plants so the leaves of the mimosa plant what is the name of that plant mimosa plant curl up if you touch them if you will touch them a mimosa plant will curl up that is why the plant is called uh, called touch me not what is the name of this plant touch me not the leaves of mimosa plant curl up if you touch them suppose you are having the plant and if you will touch with your finger they will curl up they will curl up and what is the name of that plant its name is touch me not so move to the next the leaf of the venus fly trap snaps shut when a fly lands on it as you can see fly trapped in the leaf you can see in this picture as well here is the leaf of the venus fly trap and fly trapped in the leaf as well as you can see here here is the open view of this leaf of this plant and here are the different things are happening in this so the fly will be slowly digested by the plants mean plant will eat this fly okay how they can eat it how they can uh, complete the nutrition they are getting the nutrition by trapping the flies in this way respiration and excretion like animals plants respire to get the energy they need during the respiration plant take in oxygen and excrete carbon dioxide what they have to uh, what you have observed here what is the respiration they are getting the energy but what is uh, during the res respiration what they are uh, taking in and what is the thing they are taking out they are taking out carbon dioxide mean excrete carbon dioxide and taking in the oxygen through tiny or a tiny opening called stomata as you can see here in this picture stomata are found mostly on the underside of leaves where we can find the stomata we can found the stomata underside of the leaves on the underside of leaves using a microscope microscope we cannot see it by our eyes we can use a microscope by uh, to uh, to see it reproduction plants reproduce themselves to ensure that their kind does not become extinct they do uh, and do so in different ways they are having to produce they can pr reproduce dif uh, by the different ways most flowering plants plants that produce flowers reproduce using seeds their seeds are found in the fruits they produce as you can see here the apple is having the seed inside it and the seeding apple seeds grow into new plant if you will um, if you can see here there are seed you can utilize these seeds you can plant these seeds by doing this non-flowering plants these fl uh, these plants are not having flowers as such as ferns and mosses reproduces themselves from spores they can reproduce as well but they can reproduce themselves from spores as you can see here in this picture 
and here is a spore bag. Some plants reproduce themselves from other plant parts, as you can see. New plant, new plant may grow from the underground stem or leaves of some plants. So, what we have discussed today, we have discussed about the plants. Uh, are they uh, are they can move or not? They can move or not. <clears throat> they how they can get the nutrition or uh, how they can make the food they can make the food by using the chlorophyll plant use sunlight to make food they contain green pigment called chlorophyll what is the color of chlorophyll it is green and uh, why the color uh, uh, why the chlorophyll is so important for the plants because chlorophyll traps energy from sunlight that's why it is so much important for plants and here you have to do the experiment <clears throat> and what you have observed i will check it and now i have to uh, share some videos with you about the opening of plants and one more video about it about our lesson so i hope you will enjoy my lesson and understand it properly understand it properly uh, easily so see you soon allah peace